I'm Katie Elman reporting for Katie Chats at the Blood in the Snow Film Festival in downtown Toronto. I'm here with actor Jason Martorino. How does it feel to be here at the Blood in the Snow with Kingdom Come screening tonight? Uh, it feels fantastic. Um, I, I love uh, gatherings of people like this, and especially the horror community, uh, where there's so many people that are so passionate about it and have uh, have very strong feelings about you know what they like in horror. Um, it, it's really conducive to to interesting community and interesting conversations around horror. Um, and I'm really interested to see how people how people receive the film and and interested to see it again. Yeah, yeah me too. And you play a very interesting character in this film yeah. who has two very different sides to him yeah. how did you you know develop that character and work on that uh, well I, I looked at a, a few uh, uh, clips that kind of inspire me uh, Julian Richings who's actually uh, an actor in this festival too is somebody who I've looked up to for a long time ever since I saw him in a show at Soul Pepper Theatre years ago um, and there was a particular scene I don't want to say too much because I don't want to do any spoilers for, for Kingdom Come um, but uh, but there were certain actors that uh, that inspired me and that I watched again and again and Julian Richings was one of them mm, I love him he is he's amazing yeah. And so nice. And you have also been super busy with other projects. I know the feature film Synchronicity is in post right now. And then you did a Bravo uh, uh, short film that was a CTV runner up for their short film competition. Yeah, for their best in shorts competition uh, yeah. this past summer. And it was uh, it was a quick little shoot. It was only a few days long um, with some fairly new filmmakers. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and it was an interesting little period piece and, and a great acting challenge for me because it's basically five minutes of me just weeping and giving a monologue. So, wow. <laughs> uh, but it, yeah, it was a great challenge and, uh, and it was a lot of fun and, and uh, the, the, the outcome of it was really interesting. So it should be, it's doing the festival circuit right now, but it's, uh, it'll probably be airing on Bravo in the next year or so, something like that. Cool. And how many takes, how many crying takes did you have to do? Were you crying like all day long? There were a lot. Like, um, like a therapy session, right? It, it was, yeah. And it was, it was a great focus because, yeah, I mean, you know, that, that, that can be really challenging, but especially when you connect with a character really strongly, um, you know, and those, I find that those are the roles that I usually end up, end up getting is that when I read the script, like I did with Daniel and thought, yeah, I, I kind of get what I want to do with this. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, so that film was, was no exception to that, although it was very different from the role in Kingdom Come. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I hope people enjoy it. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on you and to follow you online? Uh, you can find find me at uh, jasonmartorino.com, J-A-S-O-N-M-A-R-T-O-R-I-N-O.com, or um, you know anybody else can find me on Casting Workbook. And uh, yeah. and yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much, uh, and congratulations! It's so good to see you again. It's good to see you too, Katie. Thanks. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at the Blood in the Snow Film Festival at the Carlton Cinema in Toronto.